Elon Musk's health tech venture Neuralink recently shared that it is to begin human trials in the next six months. When the company does, what will be its impact on brain implant science? Is it going to bring a new revelation to the world? Let's find out. But first, let's have a brief introduction to Neuralink and its purpose. Founded by Elon Musk and a team of seven scientists and engineers, Neuralink Corporation is a neurotechnology company that develops implantable brain-computer interfaces. Since its launch in 2016, the company is building a Neuralink device containing a chip to help paraplegics with simple tasks, such as using a mobile phone and making mouse clicks on a computer, without any physical movement. To test the device's performance, the company has done many trials. Earlier in 2020, Elon Musk unveiled a pig called Gertrude with a coin-sized computer chip in her brain to create a working brain-to-machine interface. Pig took a while to start, but when she ate and snipped straw, the activity showed up on a graph tracking her neural activity. The processor in her brain sent wireless signals indicating neural activity in her snout when looking for food. Later on in 2021, the company again started trials, and this time it chose macaque monkeys. Neuralink claimed monkeys can play a computer game Pong using just their mind skilling. It was also reported that a male macaque called Pager moved the cursor on screen without using a joystick. But later on, news came into circulation that eight monkeys were killed during the trials. At first, this news was completely denied. However, after some time, Elon Musk acknowledged that monkeys died as part of its testing procedures, but denied allegations of animal cruelty. Months after this depreciation, Elon Musk, during a presentation at Neuralink, says he is confident that Neuralink's chips will soon be inserted into human brains. He also said that, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. So far, Neuralink has conducted many tests on different animals as it seeks approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to begin clinical trials in people. FDA, however, said that it cannot comment on the status or the existence of any potential product applications. During his three hours presentation at Neuralink headquarters, Musk emphasized the speed at which the company is developing its device. He also explained that the first two human applications targeted by the Neuralink device will be in restoring vision and enabling movement of muscles in paralyzed people. So even if someone has never had vision like they were born blind, the device can still help restore their vision. To understand the mechanism of the Neuralink device, let's have a quick review of how the human brain works. On average, the brain has 86 billion neurons, which are cells responsible for operating the human body system. Whenever you do anything, for example, move your arm or watch anything, your neurons get stimulated and regulate this function. It's electricity in the neurons that stimulate everything in your body. Whenever there is an interruption in this electricity, it can cause problems such as paralysis or loss of vision. Elon Musk says that to solve the defect in this electrical transmission, we need an electrical solution, which is a Neuralink device. A unique 8 feet tall robot is specially designed to implant the chip and wires, all avoiding damage to the brain or blood vessels. Musk says the process takes hours but leaves only a small scar. A lot of clever engineering must have gone into building such a device. The electrodes that are part of the Neuralink will read electrical signals that are produced by several neurons in the brain and translate them into an algorithm that a machine can read. This way, Neuralink will be able to read what you are thinking and find a way for you to talk to machines without even saying a word. So no more calling out Alexa or oh Google, just play with your brain. Enjoying the video so far? Then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. You'll only get smarter and it's free. Despite Musk's claims, Neuralink is running behind schedule. In a 2019 presentation, Elon Musk said that he was aiming to receive regulatory approval by the end of 2020. He then spoke at a conference in late 2021 that he hoped to start human trials this year that are now scheduled for 2023. Still, the progress regarding chip development is slow. In fact, Neuralink New York-based competitor Synchron has gotten its FDA approval in July 2021 to begin a human trial of its Stentro device to insert into the human brain which must have frustrated the billionaire. The Synchron device is designed to record or stimulate the brain or nerves from within the blood vessels. Unlike Neuralink and other proposed brain-computer interfaces, Synchron's BCI technology doesn't require open brain surgery or any drilling into the skull, making the procedure safer. The device can easily be put in place in a minimally invasive surgery that takes a maximum of two hours. 
The procedure is performed by inserting a stent through the jugular vein to reach the motor cortex of the brain and relay signals out to a computer via Bluetooth technology. Dealing with all the challenges, Musk is still determined that Neuralink will change the future. The device has all but guaranteed that humanity will augment its God-gifted human abilities with machine intelligence in the next 10 years. It could be the world's first and biggest step toward human immortality. Imagine that your brain can go into a machine in the sky and be transferred to any of your family members who are still alive after you die. That's impressive, right? The Neuralink as promised can make every human powerful, leaving a massive impact on society. Once the chip gets approved for human use, we can say for sure that Elon Musk would bring bigger versions of the chip making AI a basic necessity for humans. This might seem unusual or fantasy, but this will kind of happen. As for Musk's Tesla and other companies, it doesn't bring new technology out of anywhere, but change the existing technology and makes it useful in a unique way. The same goes for Neuralink. Despite its pros, Neuralink can also risk humanity with its negative consequences, such as depression. Also, if there is any malfunction, it isn't easy to remove and repair this device, increasing the probability to injure the brain. Experts are also concerned about the human trials of Neuralink. Musk and his team make claims regarding the safety and efficacy of their product when rigorous clinical trials have not yet been conducted. Some experts say that clinical trials that are subject to FDA oversight require researchers to follow standard ethical protocols for protecting human subjects in those trials, including monitoring for and reporting any unfavorable events that may occur during the trials. Neuralink isn't quite the same as trying to compete in the car business. The company has to be really careful about overpromising or overhyping when dealing with groups like people with blindness, spinal cord injury, or other neurological damage or disease. Anna Wexler, who is an assistant professor of medical ethics and health policy at the University of Pennsylvania, says that Neuralink presentations are uncommon for companies in the medical field. It is very risky to persuade people to get their hopes high, especially if they could possibly incur injuries during surgery as the technology is implanted. She also thinks that space and Twitter are one thing, but the stakes are higher when you come into the medical world. So summing up today's discussion, Elon Musk's Neuralink may have a long way to go to get approved by FDA, but Musk and his team's struggles show that they are investing in something really worthy. That's all for today. What do you think of Musk's Neuralink trials in humans? Share with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Plus, please subscribe to our channel to get our daily dose of informational, inspiring, and educational videos. Thanks for watching.